this oh up. my gosh so I can't believe we didn't get that on film Welcome back. So we left off where we hit a drawbridge, quite a bit of damage to the boat. So first of all, we want to thank everybody for the overwhelming amount of support. We had hundreds and hundreds of comments from people giving their advice and input and opinions. And mm -hmm. it was all really positive, encouraging and uplifting. And we also want to thank the, pe the people who offered you know, their boats, their houses for yeah. us to stay. I mean, we had someone who said they would even drop an RV off for us to stay in. And we just want to thank all of you guys for that. That's so generous. We were blown away that people yeah. who, you know, they watch our videos and really know us, they would offer this kind of stuff. It was yeah, we amazing. were definitely overwhelmed. Like Austin said, we were so overwhelmed and we appreciate all of your guys' advice and supportive comments and stuff like that. And just because we might not respond to every single one, we do read all of them. And we appreciate it so much and we just wanted to thank you guys for that. So after we hit the bridge, we right away pulled into a marina um, and called the haul out facility so we could get hauled out because we were taking on water near the stringers and we wanted to get hauled out right away. So we called the haul out facility and they were two, at least two weeks out, um, but we met this lady, Linda, and she got us out, hauled out. Today is the day we are finally getting hauled out and Michael is here. He's just coming on the boat. Um, he came down to help us because of the disaster that happened and he's gonna survey the boat and make sure with insurance surveyor and stuff, it's good to have two surveyors, the one that you trust and then the one that they sent just so you like are on the same page and he's gonna help us out. That's what's going on today. We're gonna see what the extent of the damage is because from looking at it, you're not gonna know. You have, they have to rip up the deck and really investigate and see what's wrong with our boat. So, sad, we've been stuck here for a little bit and I'm ready to get out of here. I want to go sailing. I'm tired of being at the dock, so. Yeah, so Linda, the, the lady who we contracted to get the repairs done, she was got us a hauled out quite a bit earlier. So she got us hauled out earlier, and it was a Friday when we they announced we were getting hauled out on Monday. So we called Mike Hagen to come out so he could do a survey of the damage on Monday morning, mm -hmm. and then. And we for were, who you, sorry, um, sorry to interrupt, but for those of you that don't know who Mike Hagen is, he is the original surveyor that did our survey for the boat. So. Yes, and he's been with us quite a few times. So yeah, he's he really knows the boat and he knows all about it. And so, you know, insurance had their surveyor out and we wanted to have our surveyor so that we had some sort of, uh, I guess, backbone to us when we mm -hmm. came to the table with the insurance company. We had something to offer from our surveyor mm -hmm. who represented us. So Mike came out on uh, Monday and he surveyed the boat and told us what the extent of the damage was, mm -hmm. which was quite a bit. And then we moved it to the haul-out facility on Monday morning, or Monday yeah. afternoon. And it was blowing like 25 to 30 knots, and we were in this really tight area, trying to get out of the um, marina that we were in, the dock that we were in was quite challenging. And we went to the, we sailed down to the other, or motored down to the other facility that we were getting hauled out on. And that's where we got hauled out for the second time. Yeah, so <laughs> we time. we got hauled out, and then they put this, the, the boat on you know the stands and they started inspecting the damage from you know the bottom side mm -hmm. and there was nothing significant down there that we could see but when they haul you out and sure you want to make sure that you're not holding anything up so insurance can never like hold anything against you kind of thing yep. so we were moving really fast and the first thing to do was get the mast off so they had to t take loose all the turnbuckles yep. uh, you know, the mast step, all the electronics had to we get disconnected. We had to take um, off the, the sails, the main sail and the, um, and the mizzen, the mizzen sail. So. And so we took the sails off mm -hmm. and then they t loosened all the turnbuckles from the chain plates and then they were preparing to pull the mast up. All right guys, so today we are getting all of our rigging taken out. Our mast is coming out. Um, yesterday we did the haul out. Now today they are taking all the rigging, the mast out to see what the damage is. So they have to do an investigation on um, the mast and all the rigging to make sure it is still structurally sound. So that's what's going on today. You guys are already here and are working on it. So the next day we came back to pull the mast out 
And that's where Austin was filming. Um, we were both filming a little bit. Austin just got done filming the shot. He thought it was like almost over because they started bringing down the mask. He hands me the camera and then I get on my phone and start taking pictures and the camera was off but all of a sudden I see Austin helping out and he's standing under the crane with like where it's lifting the mask and the crane starts to tip over and I start screaming at Austin because it's like falling on top of him. So I'm like, Austin, get out of the way. And he, yeah, all I see is him look and he's like, he takes off running, everyone scatters and the crane falls and like, So the crane just blew over, did not get it on film. Okay, this is Oh my gosh. So I can't believe we didn't get that on film. The mass or the crane flew over. Yeah, so the crane fell and we were really fortunate that it did not hit the boat or any other surrounding boats no or anything like that. And then absolutely nobody got hurt. So that was the good news. Everyone was going nuts afterwards though. I mean the yeah. energy there was crazy. It was just everyone was like hyped up on adrenaline because it was like seriously so crazy to see that. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, I'm sure as you guys know it's extraordinary to see it have a crane fall. Everyone was talking and they pick masks up all day long. They just got done picking up another mask and they picked up ours and you know ours was the one that, that caused the, the crane to fall <laughs> over so it was pretty crazy, and it was a, the third strike kind of thing. I mean, not really, but it was, everyone was kind of joking around that our boat's cursed. I don't really believe <laughs> that, but then we had a rigger come out and look at the mast and inspect it and everything and while it was down, and it turns out that the mast isn't damaged too bad. It's just the mast head has some welds that were folded back. Mm -hmm. We are still dealing with insurance. Yeah, we're just waiting on insurance to get back to us because they, Linda her, and her company that we decided to contract out, um, to do the work, she had assessed the damage and come up with a estimate. So she just got done with the estimate, she sent it over to us, and then we had to send it to our insurance and the assessor, and then he has to send it to the bigger people, the, up, the higher up people, and see if they're gonna total the bill or if they're gonna give us the money for the repairs. So it's all up in the air right now. We still are like sitting ducks right now. We have no idea what's going on. We're not entirely 100% sure at this moment. So that's kind of what's going on and we're just kind of hanging in there. So the next video is probably going to be uh, something to do with the insurance. Mm -hmm. We've had many, many people who are curious about the insurance process and how, how it goes. And there are some actually quite a few things that we have learned throughout this process. Yeah. Definitely. So we're probably going to make a video dedicated to how we dealt with the insurance and what you can do to to better your odds with insurance, I guess you could say, and help them help you kind of thing. Yeah, we definitely have learned a lot of different things we would have done differently and moving forward what we will do differently. Yeah, exactly. Right. So <laughs> that'll be the next video. So. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys. See you then. But still, I cannot believe this freaking crane fell. Is that not crazy? Like, I just, I don't know. This whole chain of events have, like, definitely made me just woohoo. It's like a movie. All right, we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.